Hi everybody, my name is Naya and I am the Black Female Engineer. And just six months ago, that was just a whole different story because I had actually just graduated with a double major in finance and accounting. And so I went from being a finance and accounting graduate to a fully employed software engineer in just six months. And this is that story. In the spring of 2020, I was set to graduate in just about six weeks. But as we all know, that is when everything kind of just went buck wild. And it became very clear that I was about to graduate in the midst of a recession, which is exactly what happened. Come my graduation, I had actually been one of the lucky ones to secure a job offer as a credit analyst, one um, of the roles you can get in finance. Got a role as a credit analyst, which actually was much better than the stories of my friends and the other people I went to school with because many of them to this day still haven't gotten a single job offer. But I was fortunate enough to obtain this role, however, it was just not anything that got me excited, to be completely honest. Finance itself as a role never really got me excited, and now add on that it was a very small five-person firm, and the pay was very far below industry average, like I'd say about half. And everything just mixed together. It was just not something I wanted to do with my time with my life and just seeing what kind of road I was putting myself on in terms of my career by accepting this type of role. I just did not like it. So at the time that spring, spring of 2020, I had started to just pick up new skills and one of them was coding. And I decided one day, look, I have all this time in my hands because everything's shut down. I'm not going out, you know, clubbing or anything like might as well learn something new. And so I decided to learn to code and the tools I used initially were free code camp. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes. I'll link it below. It was free code camp and code academy. And with these tools, I was able to learn really just the basics of HTML and CSS. And with just this, I got so excited. Within just three days of learning, you know, the different structural habits of the languages and things like that, I started building static websites. Now, they were not good. They, before I, it sounds like I'm tooting my horn, they were not good. They weren't stylish. They weren't, you know, anything comparable to what you see out there when you search up a website. But I was just so excited by being able to see like, oh my God, like I can build this like from scratch. I can take the business that, you know, my family member has and I can create a website for them and everything. And that was just so exciting to me. So after about two weeks of learning how to developed with HTML and CSS and build static sites and things like that, I decided to kind of upgrade and I actually paid for the a one year subscription. I believe it was about $200. It may have been on sale at the time, so it may be higher now or lower. I don't know, but I paid for the Code Academy year subscription, which I love Code Academy to this day. If I want to learn something new, learn a new language, learn a new framework, that is typically the first place I'll go to really learn the basics of something. So I paid for the subscription, and the way Code Academy is set up, there are different ways to go about learning a new language. Um, you can either say I want to learn Python, and put in Python and get the course and start going along with the way they've structured their courses. Or you can say, I want to be a web developer or I want to be a data scientist or anything like that. And you'll have a whole bundle of courses, which is the route I decided to go. I put in that I wanted to be a web developer. And so I had this whole structural bundle that had 
HTML, CSS, and JavaScript um, within the courses. That way, the idea is once I complete this very long course, I don't remember the hours it said, but it was long. Um, once I complete all of this, then I can be maybe a quote-unquote intermediate developer or web developer. Um, that's, that's the mindset. And so that's the route I took. And I went about 50% through that whole web development course before I realized that I need to go one step higher in the learning process of this. What I mean by that is by about 50% of the way through, I had gotten to the JavaScript portion of the web development um, transition course and already I had gone through HTML and CSS and I went through those like pretty easily. However, when I got to JavaScript, I was able to get the different functions and components that went into JavaScript development. However, I didn't understand why I was doing the things I was doing. So for example, they would say, okay, here's how to construct an if statement. You do this, 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 and then, okay, now your turn, test it out, and then write an if statement for X, Y, and Z. So you write it out, and I was able to go through those fine, but I just didn't understand why I needed to write an if statement for web development, if that makes sense. I understood the components of JavaScript, but why, what, what is this for? And so, that is when I realized that I need a teacher, someone who can guide me, someone who I can ask questions to, who can really understand the holes and gaps in my knowledge and work to um, just and work to just um, decrease those a little bit. And so that is when I started looking at coding boot camps. So at the time, I did not even know what a coding bootcamp was. I had never heard of it. And if you are in the same boat, a coding bootcamp is basically a highly intensive um, software development course where you can do about 40 to 60 hours a week of class instruction for anywhere from three months to six months to a year depending on the school, depending on the program, etc. And so I started looking at coding boot camps as what my next step was going to be in this journey to become a software engineer. And that is when I came upon a couple of coding boot camps. If you search just top coding boot camps, those five that come up were the ones I were primarily interested in because I'm just the type of person who, if I'm going to learn something, I better learn it from the quote unquote best. So that is the route I decided to take and started the boot camp, I'd say a month after my acceptance. And so I get accepted and I start the boot camp. I'm in a cohort of about 15 people and this boot camp was going to be for four months from June to October. So within those four months, just a quick rundown, really just learning how to code, lear learning different languages and frameworks like Ruby, Rails, JavaScript, React, Node, um, all the jazz. This is something that really, really helped me in a way that an online course or Code Academy could not because I was able to ask the teacher questions and I was able to get the full picture of instead of the teacher saying write an if statement and it's like okay now I know how to write an if statement but like why instead it was hey we're going to be developing this app these are all this these are all the things the app can do now here's how we're going to develop it step by step and these are the components that add to this functionality of the app over this one over this one four months of that four months of 40 hours a week of class time sometimes I'd be yeah I honestly sometimes I worked about 60 hours a week um, both with classes and then we had projects and we had um, not exams but basically exams 
and making sure I can pass those so I can keep on going through the boot camp and graduate on time and all of that. So I graduated in the beginning of October. By the end of October, I had received three job offers um, as a full-time software engineer. Best feeling ever. Like, <laughs> literally just wild to me. And it was just such a great feeling. And about a week later, I signed my offer with one of the companies. And I am just so grateful. And so if we look at the timeline of everything, I graduated in May, started learning to code by myself end of April. Yes, about end of April, then started the coding boot camp in June, ended it in October, so four months later, and then just a few weeks later, by the end of October, received three job offers. A week later, signed on an offer. And this offer is more than I ever thought I would be making as a very new college graduate. And I am just so so excited. It's a company that 99% of you know, and if you don't know it, you, you interact with it without knowing it every single day. So, so, so grateful. But yes, that is how I became a software engineer in just six months. So to see more videos about really the details of Coding Bootcamp, come back next week where I'll really be going very much in depth on Coding Bootcamp along with how to succeed with the best results, i.e. an offer, multiple offers. So no, thank you all and I hope to see you soon.